Hey everyone, and welcome to my new series, Simple Steps. Like many of you, I've been overwhelmed by the complexity and intricacy of many musical concepts, and I wish there was a clearer, more concise, and simpler way to go about learning them. This series is exactly that. I'm gonna be showing you concepts in a way that's not usually taught in music school. That's clearly and simply. This might come as a surprise to some people, but I'm not a big fan of practicing music. Don't get me wrong, I love, love, love playing music, but the idea of putting in hour after hour after hour, it doesn't sound too appealing to me. Because of that, I've come up with some simple ways to approach things, and it's made learning musical concepts way more efficient for me, and I know it's gonna do the same for you. In this first episode, we're gonna be talking about the tritone substitution. and more specifically using the tritone substitution over the five chord, the dominant chord, in a major two five one. I'm first gonna dive into the details and tell you exactly what a tritone substitution is. Don't worry, I'm just doing this to show you what it is and, and why I'm actually doing it, then I'll show you my simple way for approaching it. So if you just wanna skip the why behind all this stuff I'm talking about and just get to the final result, you can skip to this time right here in the video. Also, the answer is right here. A tritone substitution literally means substituting one chord with another chord that is three whole steps away, or a tritone away from it. To make things a little easier, I'm going to talk about everything in concert C major in this video. And a standard 2-5-1 in C major is D minor 7 to G7 to C major 7. So if we take that G7, which is the 5 chord, the dominant chord in this case, and substitute it for a chord a tritone away, we get D minor 7 to D flat 7 to C major 7. Just playing dominant chords by themselves can be a pretty challenging task for many people, myself included. So let's create some motion. If we had the 2 chord before the D flat 7, we would get A flat minor 7. So the full 2 5 1 would be D minor 7, A flat minor 7, D flat 7 to C major 7. All right, great. So this shows you what chords you can apply to create a tritone sub 2 5 1, but approaching that for the first time can be pretty intense and quite confusing. I have a solution. Most people, once again myself included, learn the instrument starting in major keys and learning major chords and major scales first. Also, I know that for me and many of my students and just many people that I know, staying in one chord quality throughout can be a lot easier to think about as opposed to switching between them. Since a lot of people approach 2-5-1s by just playing the 2 chord throughout until the 1 chord, what if we apply that to this tritone sub? If we look at the notes of A flat minor 7, we get A flat, C flat, E flat, G flat. Ugh. And if we add the 9th, we get B flat on top of that. But wait a minute, if we look closer, we get B, D sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. What does that spell? A B major seven chord. Therefore, we get D minor seven to B major seven up to C major seven. But we're not done yet. Can you make all three chords the same quality? You bet. If we take the three, five, seven, nine of D minor seven, we get F, A, C, and E. Now, what does that spell? Face. Uh, F major 7. Here is the final product of our tritone substitution sound over a 2-5-1 in C major. We get F major 7 to B major 7 to C major 7. And if you want to think Roman numerals for these chords in the key you're in, 4, 7, 1, all major 7s. Here are a couple lines showing how it sounds. Those three lines that I just played are included in a PDF that I wrote out for you, and you can download it for free in the description below. I wrote each one out in all 12 keys for both treble and bass clef. The great thing about thinking of the tritone substitution sound as 4 to 7 to 1 is that it frees you up to work on more musical concepts like rhythms, intervals, and anything else you want to experiment with. So now I'm just going to mess around and solo over a 2-5-1 vamp in C major. I'm only going to be thinking of F major 7 to B major 7 to C major 7. Let's see what it sounds like.
So what did you think? Could you tell that I was faking the tritone sub? Now for me, I go by the golden rule of music or what I think is the golden rule of music. If it sounds good, it is good. Getting to that tritone substitution sound, if that's what I think is good, whatever way I can get there is the right way. The other thing I really love about it is that, like I said before, you, you're more free to just think about different sounds in those keys and in those key centers that you're not worried about specific notes. You can just really make music with it, and that's the end goal. I really hope you give this a shot. And if you do, please let me know in the comments below how it worked out for you. And also, if you've ever tried this before, or if you have any other ideas of how to play over a tritone sub. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It's that support which helps me create more content here on YouTube. I also create Patreon-only content, so if you want access to all of my videos and everything that I'm putting online, you'll need to support me over there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.